What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was an arranged matchup versus this uh, clan predominance uh, that DWS found in the Hog Rider series. Um, just awesome, you know. They uh, they had some really good attackers in there. Uh, it's pretty good bases at the same time. Uh, and guys, this is the way to really uh, figure out where your clan's at. Um, if you've never really been in the arranged war game, but you you know you do have a huge war um, war success history, we'll just say, right? Uh, you could have a greens across the board, but never done an arranged matchup, and it is a whole different ball game. Uh, so really, get in on these Hog Rider series, talk to DWS, get those messages in, because uh, this could be your clan uh, next, right? Um, we're really working on setting up a, an easier way for your clan to apply. Uh, if you have an idea of war weights, if your clan is all Town Hall 9s and above, um, no Town Hall 8s, and uh, you can take the time to fill out this application for DWS. There's a good chance that uh, it will work on the balancing and get you in for an arranged matchup against Invicta. And hop on over, 7164 for Invicta. So nice job, gentlemen. Um, uh, Predominance fell a little bit short here. They missed a one, one more star on Marcus there. <clears throat> and then a handful of the nines on the way down. So that's, that's kind of always... Um, at least when I started in one hive and saw Invicta building out to where they are today, um, that's the that's the first thing you work on as a clan is getting those nines cleared, right? By your nines, right? You don't want to use bully attacks. You want to leave your uh, Town Hall 10s and now 11s, I guess, as many three-star shots as possible. So as you can see, Invicta ran it all the way down so hats off gentlemen of course i get a line message right now <clears throat> anyhow so i got a lot of good stuff to show you in here guys uh i don't want to rush this recap but i am blessed that my daughter right now is kind of just having fun playing uh, with some toys on her own so i'm trying to sneak this one in so don't feel like it's rushed but i am going to try and just get right through these uh replays for you guys so Jumping in five on five, our top nine versus their top nine. Gotta love Zero's attacks here. He just is a beast. Zero brings a bit of a, a queen walk, a sort of queen charge walk, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, kind of walks it down into this section. Going to really just take out a big, big piece of this base. Has 19 hogs in the bag. Still has a couple golems, right? So he's going to send in a shattered entry at one point. Uh, I think it's more like a closed clean, uh, queen walk, I should say. I think she steps in here and takes care of the queen. Yeah, should in one moment, maybe not. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. I was wrong. Um, I swear that queen stepped out and she took care of the queen. Anyhow, as you can see, she's going to continue walking. He closes it off with the golem over here, uh, sends in a wall breaker to open things up. That Tesla kind of screws up his wall breakers a bit. So, uh, does have to beat through the wall. I think he drops his king here in a moment to start beating through this stuff. Yeah, there it is. Just going to end up beating through this wall with that king, the golem, those level 30 heroes. Um, keep in mind, everything except for that golem is okay. The golem's getting beaten on by those Teslas for so long. But the healers there are really kind of keeping this alive right because he needs to get through this lab wall sorry to show your wall breaker here zero but uh, i just wanted to show this because um i like showing raids that don't necessarily go exactly to plan but you still just hang on and come away with the three star right so now that they busted through uh the unfortunate part is his king is out front but luckily it's a uh, lava hound so it's not doing any damage to his king if that was you know a dragon or something else his king would be taking serious damage at the moment so as you can see everything's opened up into this queen chamber king is just going to finish off that defensive king and then eventually work his way over here to take out that queen <laughs> maybe not actually the king is now down <clears throat> man this defensive queen is just dodging bullets left and right uh, I believe here this queen is about to step up and finish her off, though. There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes that defensive queen. Hogs are already in, coming in from this uh, kind of 5 o'clock location. First heel went down. Second heel went down. Everything's going to move through. There's really only a handful of uh, defenses remaining. Once that expo goes down, there's a few hogs kind of working on those back end ones as well. Clean up wizards down. Swag poison in the bag. He's got swag units in the bag, even with the wall break fail. Very nice job there. That happened to me once, right? Those Teslas at max range really get you because they don't pop until your wall breaker's there. But then 
you said that, that's actually a very nice Tesla placement for this Adil guy. It worked. That was exactly his plan, and it worked perfectly. But unfortunately, when you're a beast attacker, like zero here. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have wall breaker fails, you're still gonna three star. So let's three stars in the bag. Wanna hop down, check out Ryan's attack here too. Uh, Zero and Ryan had six star wars. A lot of guys had six star wars. It was really, really nice performance for the Invicta guys here. So Ryan goes ahead, drops a uh, golem. I think he drops both golems, just gets a nice stretch so he can create his funnel. He ends up funneling off, I believe, this entire nine to 12 section. So looking pretty, uh, I did like the uh, the giant and a couple extra wizards over here to help take this stuff out. Oh, sorry, the hog, my bad, the giant. Um, but the hog did some tanking, took down that uh, the archer tower and then allowed the uh, wizards to continue on with the funnel, but the jumps down, golems in, Valks are about to go in with that king, all of it kind of working into this core, gonna shred through those Teslas, shred through that queen. It's got a heal spell that I don't know if he's gonna, yeah, there goes that heal spell for the Valks. Going to just keep everything healed up while they work through the Tesla, the Tesla help. Um, in my opinion, uh, this RC guy needs to move those Teslas. Um, I'm not a huge fan, first of all, of having multiple Teslas in the same compartment. Secondly, having them right in your queen chamber compartment because you know a kill squad is going to go there at some point. Anyhow, hogs are in. Few on each defense coming in from the 3 o'clock position here. Valks are still in there under a heal. Um... If the Valks are taking serious damage, it is worth it to kind of throw that heal on your Valks. Keep them going. Keep them tanking and just use your hogs uh, uh, surgically on the outside. Start taking out those defenses they cannot get to. As you can see, Ryan is a pro at this because there is basically an archer tower and an air defense to go and it's cleanup time. Look at the sliver of health on that archer queen. Doesn't matter. She's working on a wall anyways. He had enough hogs. He had enough Valks. Look at all those cleanup troops. Ryan with the tree stars in the bag. Beauty. Uh, number 10, Torn. Ran into Torn and Homestar on uh, Discord the other night. Torn is uh, a lot of guys look up to Torn. He, um, you know, he's got almost the max heroes. Uh, really brings some really sexy attacks, specifically with these queen charges. Um, you'll see he kind of walks the queen down, he funnels off that army camp, walks everything down where he just earthquake, and then the queen's going to just walk right up into this base and finish everything off. Brings two rages, I believe both of those rages are for her. CC troops are going to come to her, everything. She's taking a huge, huge, huge chunk of this base. And then from that point, all he's got to do is drop a jump, his Valks and King. And if you look over here, there's not a lot of buildings to funnel off. So, I mean, if you dropped right on this lab where if, with the jump spell there, it would go lab, gold storage, into the chamber, right? So, not a lot to funnel off. Um, as, you, as you're about to see, uh, first raise goes down, kind of just pushing the queen all the way in. As soon as that CC comes out, I believe it's a lab of hound. So he drops the rage just to buy, just so the queen gets through it. Uh, I did like the wizard kind of help make sure that funnel gets created. Doesn't want that queen kind of stepping up and then seeing these buildings on the outside and coming back out and around. Uh, so that was the purpose of the wizard there. Wizard's even going to step up, take out this uh, little collector. And that is key, right? So as soon as the collector goes down, she's going to see that whiz tower. Wiz walks over to take care of that army camp. And then there's no danger. Like once that expo went down, she probably would have went to that mortar. And if she had seen that army camp, I don't know. He just didn't want anything screwing up. Uh, now that I talked about it out loud, probably wouldn't have happened anyways. But uh, good job. So that rage goes down over that lava hound just to help her rip through that as soon as possible. Because she does need to step up and start helping out the kill squad with this. Only has 20 hogs, right? So has to be a little bit conservative. Has not taken out, as far as we know, any uh, giant bombs. <laughs> so let's be a little careful with this hog, but as you can see, easy, easy funnel, jump spell went down, everything's going on in that queen chamber, the Teslas, again, all in the queen chamber, you know damn well, the, the kill squad's going to go in there, King's going to just take care of all those Teslas, take care of that expo, queen coming in from behind now, just going to start working on all this stuff, and boom, hog sprinkled in, all on those defenses, all on the outer edge, then they're all going to step into that next compartment, take care of all these ones, and that's it, boom, there goes a giant bomb, it doesn't matter, Really, I think there's another one here. No, nope, I was wrong. Just a spring trap. Wizard Tower is down. Clean up time. Nice attack torn. This was a nice one. The old Govaho with Queen Walk is OP with Earthquakes. Queen Walk, Charge, Govaho. <laughs> I don't 
don't even know what to call it. It's awesome though. Tree stars. All right. One more down here to show you. Where were we? 21. Homestar. Homestar brings a straight up Gobaho. Uh, again, I've talked about this before, guys. Gobaho double jump. Very safe, viable attack versus anti three star bases, right? The way the chambers get end up getting set up for anti three stars um, makes Valk pathing fairly easy to predict with the double jump. It's not like one of those compact form bases where there's a bazillion compartments that if you jump, you don't know where they're going to go, right? The, the jump placements and, and wall breaks are very definitive and you can really tell where your Valks are going to go, which makes them very, very viable to use because the problem with Valks, you don't really know where they're going to go all the time. So, as you can see, Homestar's entry is nice and clean, although a little risky with that barracks over there. Could have had his Valks go for a walk, but they are fine. They're walking into that core. Um, only danger was really, you know, the poison is down, helping take care of the balloons. But see the balloon kind of falling? It had got a couple shots off in the Valks. It would have been serious trouble. But... They did not. Everything's looking good. Rage is down. Queen's in. Sends in a few hogs to get a, that suicide double giant bomb trigger. It has 15 more hogs he's about to send in. Kind of start scattering them in. Boom. There they are in the arch tower. He's got three in there. He's going to start just sprinkling them in all around the base. Does lose a few to spring traps there. I definitely would have reinforced as soon as I saw that spring. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. <laughs> it's all right, Homestar. Uh, see, he's probably just staring at his Valks, wondering what they're going to do. He was waiting for them to get in there. Boom, there are the, oh, the hogs. See, if he sent them in when that one hog was remaining, uh, all this stuff would have been getting taken down anyways. But doesn't matter how do you critique the three-star. <clears throat> Tesla's about to go down. Nice spring traps, though, uh, for predominance. You know, they, they did have some pretty pretty decent bases. So uh, good job on those base designs, gentlemen. Um, fortunately, right, uh, Guys like Homestar really can pick this apart, put a lot of planning into these attacks, and this is what happens when you do that. Tree stars in the bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice job, Homestar. Beauty. All right, quickly one more here. Mick Gravy. Fraz and Mick Gravy. So, um, Another similar attack, but what I liked about this, look how like it, it, it's a go valo. Um, so he brings the loons on the back end. The four healers though, you know, leaving him with only 12 balloons and eight Valks, right? So you don't have a lot of back end defense targeting units. Uh, so you really got to get good value from these healers. You got to get good value from those Valks. Otherwise this attack is going to be a fail, uh, which it's not. Uh, good old gravy goes right in here. He's going to work his way up to this air defense. See, he's going to drop the earthquakes and then create a funnel once his queen gets over there. And he's going to push the queen into this part of the base. The queen's going to get all of those air defense all by herself. Then he's going to send in a bunch of Valks over on this end and get insane value out of these troops. <clears throat> so there goes that wizard I was talking about. Just really going to push that lab down as soon as possible. Here comes the CC troops. Uh, does not have poison for the CC troops, but goes ahead and rages it up. Just got to blow through all that. Few wizards can really ruin your queen's day as I've come to realize. Oh, he's got to hit the ability. See what I mean? Like uh, when there's so many archers and a wizard and a witch even in there like that, uh, your queen really, really is very fragile at points in time to certain things. And wizards are can ruin your queen's day um but you can see this queen's just rocking through all the stuff now uh her ability is burnt already so just gets this stuff down time because that sweeper is is causing the healers to not heal constantly either but just 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 gets that uh last tesla down time same with this one boom just a sliver of health healers just keeping her up just enough <clears throat> so here comes this entry eight valve parade coming in Bam, bam, bam. Everything's going to get knocked down. Valks go in this way. I think that was also very lucky because that elixir storage is looking nice and juicy for those Valks out there. But everything moving in. Queen has now got a little bit of her health back, so that is looking good. Does take a bomb to the face right there, but no big deal. Start sprinkling a couple loons here and there. Just start taking out those outer defenses. Queen's going to step up, finish off that air defense. Down it goes. She's going to step up, work on that expo, and then immediately go over to that air defense. Um... Valks in there doing work too, right? 
so really good job to kind of fall in the kill squad, dropping just being very, very, very conservative on those loons. Two here, two here, right? Just kind of protecting these units as they work their way through the core of the base. All the air defenses are down. He can deploy the rest of these balloons now, but he doesn't even need them, right? He's got all these balloons, take care of those, and four swag loons in the bag. Very, very sexy attack, Grady. You know I love those Govalos. Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag for McGravy. Um, so I am very lucky my daughter actually has not jumped in here and interrupted my video yet. So uh, I am going to call it an afternoon, and Monday afternoon, and finally got the day off. So I'm going to uh, take the little one out and about and have a good time with her. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the content. And... <clears throat> All those new things, I'm going to be working on a cleanup video tonight. Um, you know, me and uh, Kadic might be getting together a little later this evening as well and doing our last episode of the base building series, which is actually going to move into another piece of, uh, we're just still going to call it the base building series, but um, stay tuned because we had a really cool announcement of what we are going to do involving that. Um, yeah, j just stay tuned, guys. I, I don't want to ruin the surprise now. Um, but when that video comes out, I think everyone's going to be pleased because we get a lot of requests for what I'm speaking of. And uh, we're going to follow through with that. So uh, until then, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help a bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.